Okay, so one of the nice features about the um, the uh, plus CE is that when I graph, I can graph in color. And what's nice about that is I'm going to plug in um, uh, a simple graph, um, the function x plus 3. So now when I hit graph, um, I have a nice blue line that represents the function x plus 3. Now if I go and I graph another line, like let's say 2x, actually let's make it negative 2x, negative 2x um, plus 1, uh, if you notice now I'll have a red line and then all the data will be in red and I can um, click over here and change some of these things and look at that stuff. But let's let's say I want to change the color. Well that's easy. Um, I can change the color by simply moving the cursor over to the color portion and when it's flashing like that over the red, if I hit enter it gives me this menu which allows me to change the color and I just scroll through to whatever color I want and I can even change what type of line I want to use. I can do an inequality which will shade above the line. I can do uh, an inequality which will shade below the line. Uh, I can plot points. I can put little markers. I could do a dotted line. So for example, let's say I wanted to graph the inequality um, less than or equal to. Well normally what I would do is this represents less than or equal to. In other words, if I were to say, we'll just hit OK on this. If I were to say y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 1, I would hit graph and then it just shades below that. Now if I wanted to find the intersection or a solution set of the same thing except now and I'll change um, the color to red and then I come down here and I want to do greater than then I would hit OK. So I'm showing you two things actually. Now if I hit graph I can change the color, the inequality and then my solution sh uh, set would be where the two are overlapped. So basically whenever I want to change the color of something or the graph itself I'll come over here I'm going to change it back now I'm going to change that back to blue. Let's do light blue. And then I'm going to change this to just a regular straight line. And hit OK. I'm going to change this to, I don't know, let's do orange. That seems cool. And then I'm going to change this to a regular straight line. i got to scroll through here. Oops. And hit enter. Well, wait, I want the thicker one. And hit enter. And so now when I graph this, it goes back to having a light blue line and an orange line. And that's it.